From here we have a very nice view of uh, Sori San Lorenzo, which is a, a vineyard uh, of almost uh, three hectares. And it's a vineyard uh, that was purchased by my grandfather in 1964. It's a special vineyard um, because it's a vineyard uh, with a great location. It's a vineyard totally south facing, the so called Sori. In dialect uh, Sori, they come from the Italian word sole. Sole becomes soli and then sori. And sori means uh, top of the hill facing the sun. So it's totally south facing, great location. It's a low hill, eh, not too high. And it's a vineyard where are planted some of the oldest vines uh, in our property. My grandfather bought it in 64, but was already largely planted. And uh, it's a vineyard from where uh, uh, since 1967 we produce uh, Sori San Lorenzo. From 64 to 67, the vineyard of Sori San Lorenzo has been used together with other 14 vineyards of Nebbiolo, blended together to make our estate uh, barbaresco. And then in 67, the vineyard was so special, the grapes coming from there, they were so different uh, from all the other Nebbiolo that we have, uh, that we decided that it was, it was important to show this difference and to bottle uh, alone. And so came out Sori San Lorenzo, our first uh, single vineyard, barbaresco. It's, uh, what is so special is uh, the character that Nebbiolo gets. It's uh, the most austere uh, of uh, the character of, ne of our Nebbiolo from the Barbaresco village. It's, uh, it's a wine that when he's young it's almost like a, a rock. You can't get in. It's very discreet and you can feel that uh, despite there's a lot to say and there is a lot going on, it's intriguing because it's, uh, it's very reserved. And uh, the body, the structure of the wine, it's uh, usually the, the, the biggest one, respect to Costa Russi, Soritildin, uh, or uh, the other wines that we make from Barbaresco. So a tannic structure, structure quite uh, thick, um, long runner, uh, one of the wines with a higher potential for aging. So we are now in the vineyard of uh, Sori San Lorenzo. Today is uh, the 2nd of uh, July and uh, Sori San Lorenzo is, uh, is special not only for the location but the, the very special soil which is a soil uh, of uh, clay and limestone with very high uh, concentration of, uh, of limestone, quite a, a compact uh, soil. Looking at this vineyard you can see two particular things. The first thing is the grass. We don't uh, cut the grass, actually we do it because we need to, we cut, the, we cut it in May and June. But starting from the mid of June we stop cutting the grass and we let it go uh, free. Because the grass uh, it's a protector from the sun. Uh, during the month of July and August, the two warmest uh, months of, uh, of the year, we like to have more grass so that the sun doesn't directly burn the, the soil, but creates, uh, keeps the humidity and creates a good protection for the, for the soil and protects uh, the, the life of biodiversity in the vineyard. The second important thing that we do with Sori San Lorenzo, especially because Sori San Lorenzo is fully exposed uh, uh, south, is uh, um, not to intervent too much on the, on the vine, um, for example, topping too much uh, times. So we top uh, usually twice and, uh, and then we let it grow uh, high. What happens? Happens that when you cut the leaves on the top, you create a stress to the plant and the plant reacts by pushing again with leaves and making new leaves. And every new leaf is a new solar panel that works much stronger than the older leaves. And that requires again, um, creates again, generates again a, a sugar and a concentration into, into the plants. It's a kind of artificial, artificial uh, operation that, uh, that you do to the plants. So in order to, uh, to have a balanced wine, not too concentrated, uh, uh, not too high in, uh, in sugar, we top, uh, we, lit, we let the plants follow its own rhythm without interventing and topping uh, too many times. Um, of course, uh, when uh, the leaves, uh, they become too many and they start to create problems because uh, they fell down and they create uh, too much shadow and that they don't allow the enough uh, possibility for the uh, bunches to be 
touched by the sun and ripe, then we need to cut or we simply torch them uh, in a way that they don't um, avoid uh, sun exposure. <laughs>